10 Medications That May Raise Your Risk of Liver Damage Did you know that your liver is the largest solid organ inside your body? This football-sized powerhouse helps keep you alive and healthy. As you move throughout your day, it works hard to detoxify your blood, help with digestion, and restore your energy levels. We can't live without it. Your liver, a vital organ in your body, not only helps with digestion and keeping you energized but also manages medications you take. However, some medicines can harm the liver, causing what's known as drug-induced liver injury. When you're ill, doctors often prescribe medicines to help you get better. These medications serve to combat illnesses or manage health conditions. But occasionally, these drugs, intended to aid your health, can cause harm to your liver. This harm arises when certain medications don't work well with your liver's way of processing them. So, stick around because this information could be a game-changer in understanding how certain medicines can affect your liver and what you can do to keep that important organ in top shape. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated on all our health tips and tricks. Number 1, Tylenol. When it comes to Tylenol, that trusty over-the-counter pain reliever, it's pretty cool in the right doses. Taking it now and then, just like the instructions say, won't harm your liver. But here's the deal, taking too much or using it for a long time can mess with your liver and cause damage. So, remember, stick to those recommended doses to keep your liver smiling. Taking a large amount of Tylenol all at once can seriously harm your liver. This is known as a Tylenol overdose, and it's a medical emergency. If you suspect you've taken too much Tylenol, it's crucial to seek immediate help. Call poison control or head straight to the nearest emergency room for urgent care. Getting help fast is vital to preventing serious damage to your liver. To keep your liver safe from Tylenol troubles, stick to these tips. Stay within the limit. Don't go over the maximum recommended dose of 4,000 mg in a day. Skip the drinks, avoid sipping on alcohol while you're using Tylenol. Check labels, look out for acetaminophen in other pain medications, both over-the-counter and prescription. Sometimes it's hiding in cold or flu medications too. Avoid accidentally doubling up on Tylenol by knowing what's in your meds. Number 2, Antibiotics, like Augmentin. Augmentin, a popular antibiotic for infections like respiratory, ear, and skin issues, does its job well. But here's the thing, among antibiotics, it's more likely to cause liver problems, although this side effect isn't very common in general. So, while it's a great antibiotic for fighting infections, keeping an eye out for any liver-related issues while on it is a good idea. Liver issues from Augmentin usually pop up anywhere from a few days to about eight weeks after starting the treatment. It tends to hit guys, older folks, and those who've used Augmentin a bunch of times in a row. But here's the good news, the damage is often reversible and doesn't stick around to cause long-term problems. Number 3, Nonsteroidal Anti-Inflammatory Drugs, like Diclofenac. Nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are often used to tackle pain, inflammation, and fever. You might grab some over-the-counter, but others, like oral diclofenac, need a prescription from your doctor. These medications can be helpful for various discomforts, but it's essential to use them as directed for your safety. Diclofenac stands out among nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs as being more likely to lead to liver issues. Sometimes, it causes changes in liver function tests without any noticeable symptoms. These tests measure liver enzymes, kind of like little proteins, and higher levels could signal potential liver trouble. Your healthcare provider can check these levels through a simple blood test to keep an eye on your liver health. Serious liver damage from diclofenac isn't super common, but it can happen. The chances go up if you're a woman or if you're taking bigger doses for a longer time, more than four weeks, to be specific. It's important to keep an eye on these factors to stay safe while using this medication. Remember, diclofenac isn't just in pill form, you can find it as gels, creams, or patches you put on your skin. The cool thing about these topical versions is that they carry a lower risk of liver issues because only a tiny bit gets into your body through the skin. So, if you're worried about liver problems, these topical options might be a safer bet.
Number 4, Amiodarone. Amiodarone, also known as Pacer 1, helps fix irregular heartbeats. Interestingly, about half the folks using amiodarone for a long time might see their liver function tests go up. But here's the comforting part, these increases typically don't lead to major health issues. Although it's rare, in some instances, amiodarone can lead to more serious liver problems. About 1% of people taking this medication might face this issue. The Food and Drug Administration, which keeps an eye on medication safety, has given amiodarone its most severe warning, a boxed warning, to highlight this risk. Liver issues from amiodarone are more likely if you're on higher doses for a long time. The good news is that your healthcare team can keep an eye on this risk. They'll probably schedule regular liver function tests while you're on amiodarone to check if any adjustments are needed in your treatment. Monitoring helps keep things in check. Number 5, Allopurinol. Allopurinol, also known as Xyloprim, is a medication that helps stop gout attacks. Sometimes, it's used to prevent specific types of kidney stones too. In rare cases, people with cancer might take it to prevent a complication called tumor lysis syndrome. So, it's kind of a multitasker in the medical world. Allopurinol might cause slight bumps in liver function tests for about 6% of those who use it. But the good news is that these increases are usually small and reversible. They generally don't stick around to cause any lasting issues. Occasionally, allopurinol might trigger liver issues as part of a bigger problem known as drug reaction with eosinophilia and systemic symptom syndrome. This reaction involves more than just the liver, it brings along fever, rash, and abnormal blood tests, among other symptoms. It's like a chain reaction to certain medications, and allopurinol can sometimes be a part of that. Allopurinol has been linked to some severe skin reactions, like Stevens-Johnson syndrome and toxic epidermal acrolysis. These conditions not only affect the skin but can also harm the liver. It's a serious situation where these reactions can have broader effects on the body, including liver complications. Number 6, Anti-Seizure Medications Like Phenytoin Anti-seizure medications often come with a warning for possible liver injury. Phenytoin, known as Dilantin, stands out as one of the top causes of drug-induced liver injury and even liver failure. But the good news is that this liver damage from phenytoin is quite rare, less than 1 in 1,000 people who take it might experience this issue. Liver problems from phenytoin usually pop up about 2 to 8 weeks after starting the treatment. Nearly all cases of phenytoin-related liver issues are part of broader reactions involving the whole body. These can include anticonvulsant hypersensitivity syndrome, drug reactions with eosinophilia and systemic symptoms, Stevens-Johnson syndrome, and toxic epidermal acrolysis. But here's some reassurance. For most folks dealing with this kind of liver injury, it gets better within one to two months after stopping phenytoin treatment. Some other anti-seizure medications have been linked to potential liver issues. Valproic acid, known as depakine, carbamazepine sold as Tegretol, and Lamotrigine, often recognized as Lamictal, have been associated with possible liver problems. It's important to keep an eye out for any signs of liver trouble while taking these medications and to promptly inform your healthcare provider if any concerns arise. Number 7, Isoniazid. Isoniazid is a powerful antibiotic used to prevent and treat tuberculosis. However, it's among the top 10 medications that might lead to drug-induced liver injury in several countries. Up to 20% of people taking isoniazid might see higher liver function test levels, but only around 1% might actually experience a liver injury from the medication. The majority of liver issues linked to isoniazid are mild and tend to clear up within a week of stopping the medication. But here's the kicker, isoniazid comes with a boxed warning highlighting the risk of severe liver inflammation. It's a reminder of the potential for more serious problems, even though most cases are usually less severe and reversible. Liver failure from isoniazid is more likely among certain groups. Women, black individuals, and people with existing liver issues face a higher risk. Additionally, older adults and those who drink alcohol daily also have an increased likelihood of experiencing liver failure linked to isoniazid.
Being aware of these risks is crucial for those who fall into these categories and are taking this medication. Number 8. Azathioprine. Azathioprine, often known as Imuran, is a medication deliberately designed to lower the immune system's activity. It's frequently used after organ transplants to prevent rejection and is also used to manage certain autoimmune conditions by calming down an overactive immune system. Indeed, azathioprine can cause various liver issues. Some are mild, reversible bumps in liver function tests, while others might appear long-term, even cropping up one to five years after starting azathioprine. Interestingly, liver problems linked to azathioprine are more likely in transplant recipients. It's crucial to keep an eye out for any signs of liver trouble while using this medication, especially for those who've undergone transplants. If you're facing liver problems from azathioprine, stopping the treatment often helps resolve these issues. However, while you're taking the medication, your healthcare provider will likely keep a close watch on your liver health. Regular monitoring is a common practice to ensure everything stays on track and to catch any problems early on. Number 9. Methotrexate. Methotrexate is widely used to manage cancer and autoimmune diseases. However, it comes with a boxed warning highlighting the risk of liver toxicity. The extent of liver injury can differ based on how much methotrexate is taken and how long the treatment lasts. It's crucial to keep an eye on liver health while using this medication due to these potential risks. High doses of methotrexate administered intravenously can lead to significant rises in liver function test levels. However, since these high doses aren't commonly given, the liver enzymes usually return to normal swiftly, often without causing any symptoms. Plus, these high doses are typically given in a controlled medical environment ere healthcare providers closely monitor the situation. Lower daily doses of oral methotrexate usually don't result in significant changes in liver function tests. However, they might increase the risk of developing fatty liver disease or liver scarring, especially in individuals who already have risk factors like heavy alcohol consumption or obesity. Monitoring liver health is crucial for those with these predisposing factors while on this medication. Number 10. Other Cancer Medications Various cancer treatments, like chemotherapy, targeted therapies, and hormonal agents, can lead to liver problems as a side effect. These medications, while effective against cancer, sometimes affect the liver due to their strong actions in the body. It's vital for healthcare providers to monitor liver health during cancer treatments to manage and address any potential complications. Medicines like pembrolizumab and nivolumab are immune checkpoint inhibitors used in cancer treatment. While these drugs help the immune system recognize cancer cells, in some cases, they can also trigger an overly strong immune response, causing it to attack healthy cells. This immune reaction can lead to liver inflammation, affecting up to 6% of individuals undergoing treatment with immune checkpoint inhibitors. Regular monitoring during treatment helps catch and manage these side effects. Certain supplements have been associated with causing liver damage. Studies reveal that these supplements contribute to about 20% of liver injury cases in the United States. Bodybuilding supplements contain anabolic steroids. Weight loss supplements with green tea extract. Specific vitamins, especially when taken in high doses and over long periods, like niacin. Herbal products such as ginseng and black cohosh. Multi-ingredient nutritional products like hydroxycut, slimquick, and herbalife. It's important to note that not all supplements are linked to liver injury. However, it's crucial to consult your healthcare provider or pharmacist before taking any supplement to ensure it's safe and suitable for your specific health circumstances. Being cautious about supplements can help prevent potential harm to your liver and overall health.